Today, I'm gonna to be giving you a closer look at this baby carrier from Mixmart. Now, this is a good one for both babies and toddlers. Um, it has six different carrying positions, which I'll show you more in detail. Um, and it also has a separate head cushion that you can put on for your child when they're facing in. Um, and this is recommended for children that are between 8 and 29 pounds. So your little newborns um, that are 8 pounds and up are good to carry in this. And it goes up to 29 pounds. And it's recommended for children that are 3 to 16 months for babies. But most of my kids, when they're 16 months, are not 30 pounds. So I have a baby that is going to be 2 in a couple of months. And um, she is under 30 pounds so she can fit in here and her height wise and everything will fit in here as well okay so um let's talk about some of this stuff here the material so um there is a pe board so kind of a solid piece so um it's comfortable and there's padding on the side but you can feel that it is just more firm so it's not just loose material i have a couple of baby carriers that are just floppy loose material and definitely having the support there for their back is much better and more comfortable for carrying um so that gives support um the shoulder straps are all nicely padded so they're comfortable and the straps that go around your waist as well um, um, so there's a lot of padding to keep your baby comfortable as well as keeping you comfortable when you're carrying all that weight on you. Um, okay, so it's made out of a soft polyester fabric and it has organic cotton on the inside and then a breathable mesh that goes around on the inside. So you've got breathable mesh here and on your shoulder straps and the straps that reach around, which is nice if you're out in the heat so you're not getting too hot and sweaty having that breathable mesh material there. Okay, so there's um, also a detachable cushion. So this one you've seen is um, detachable for a head support. Um, that piece you can take off for your older child. You're really only gonna use that piece for a smaller infant that can't support their head. So they've got that support there. Um, there's also a removable cushion that goes inside here um, to give support and cushion for their legs and hips. And that comes out um, and it's just kind of more firm right there if you didn't want to use that in there But it's kind of nice to have that cushion. I can't see myself even no matter how large my child is taking that out um, So it just gives them cushion in the front and in the back and on the side of their legs There because sometimes you know these carriers can pull and you want it to be as soft and padded as possible Okay, so another thing that's important when it comes to Anything that's meant for your baby is it for is for it to be machine washable. You want to be able to easily clean this because your baby will inevitably spit up, um, spill things in here. Perhaps it's just sweaty from you wearing out on a summer's day. So this is machine washable, which is definitely a good thing. Okay, so let's talk about those six different carrying positions and the clips here. Okay, you've got really large, sturdy clips that are strong. You definitely want clips to be strong on a baby carrier, right? You don't want anything coming loose, pulling off, that would um, end up in your baby falling. So, okay, and as far as carrying them frontwards, there's also a position, one of the six positions in here is a breastfeeding position. So you can kind of have it angled so that your child can stay in the carrier and easily nurse, which is terrific. Okay, so also you do want to make sure just as a caution anytime that you're wearing your child facing front that if they fall asleep, you want to turn their head to the side so their face isn't um, just right there against your chest where they could suffocate. Um, also, you do want to make sure that it's not too tight on your chest so that your baby has some space in between your chest and their face. So... And just some warnings there with any baby carrier that you want to make sure that when they're front facing that their head is turned to the side and supported and there's nothing directly over top of their face. Now a lot of these specific positions that um, come with the manual and you're told to wear a certain way for the six different positions, a lot of them are very, very similar. So I'm just going to show you um, some variation in the way that you can wear it and how to position it that way. Okay, so right now I'm wearing with the strap around my waist, and rather than having the two straps over here, I've just got the strap over one shoulder. So as you can see, my baby would be carrying a little bit more to the side. So um, these are all really adjustable straps, so you can pull them as tight as you need to and adjust as you're working in different positions. 
Um, the same thing with the waistband. There's lots of padding all around here and on the shoulder as well. Okay, and I also have the hood piece on here, which is a good support for your baby's head. And I'll show you how I placed that on. Okay, so here on the strap, sorry, this is hard to see because I'm wearing black and this is a black baby carrier. So on the strap here, there is, on both sides there, there um, is a little belt area that you can pass this through. And this just clips around and clips on, and you can tighten that as much as you need to. Same thing on the other side. So I'll move this shoulder strap back up here so you can see. So same thing on the other side. Okay, um, so passing it over like this on one shoulder is kind of ideal um, for like three to six month old babies. And um, also the hood piece. Now this normally is a flat piece right here, and the hood We'll just fold right over that so that you've got the pillow cushion right up against your baby's head there. Let me demonstrate this with a baby doll who is a lot quieter and more cooperative than my baby would be and also a lot smaller. So we'll see if we can give you an idea of size here. Okay, so it's recommended that you put it on yourself before you put the baby in. Okay, I probably want some more distance. Okay, so there's a good look at how to carry your baby. Now because I've got this one over one shoulder, um, this is an ideal position that you can just, uh, by adjusting the straps, you can make it more comfortable to nurse your baby. So if you were to loosen this strap right here and kind of shift it so your baby's laying more this way, then you can, you're in an ideal nursing position right here. You can also wear your baby more to the side on your hip, so the strap's just across your shoulder, which this tiny baby doll looks a little awkward here. She's a little too small for this position. So you can wear it with the hood over top, that head cushion, with them on their side like this. Um, you can also turn your baby outward in the same position if you're to remove this hood piece. And basically any position you can change a little bit by taking pieces off, adjusting the straps, and facing your baby inward or outward. Okay, so I'm gonna go like this so I can take this off. Okay, so I've got the hood piece off right there. It's nice that it just snaps right on and clips pretty tightly. So you can, if you have a larger child that's head is kind of above this and they can obviously support their head, then you don't really need that cushion on there and they'll be sitting more upright on your hip. Now an older child can be in here facing outward as long as they're big enough that their head, this comes up on their chest and their head is facing out. So you could have your baby facing out that way. Another way to carry your baby, which you can really do with all sizes, is rather than having one shoulder strap, which you can change back and forth which side you want to have your baby, so you can kind of give one shoulder a break. So um, the good thing about this being versatile and easily versatile is that you can take it off, move it if your shoulders are uncomfortable. Now this way, carrying a heavy child, you've got the support around your waist and around your neck, so you won't tire too easily here in this position. Um, this way, you can put the hood on for a smaller baby, and you just wanna pull it a little bit tighter if they're small, so they can be resting their head um, in against your chest a little bit, so they're not just hanging out, because they don't have very good control at a very young age. Um, but you can face them, put that hood on, attach it, and have them facing inward. Or when they're a little bit bigger, you can have them facing outwards. So they can see where they're going and be sitting in there comfortably. But you can be holding them hands-free. An important thing to remember with um, things like this is that if you clip on, you want to clip everything on first, then put your baby inside. And before you let go and make it hands-free, make sure that all of those clips are secure and nicely fastened. And then kind of give it a test to make sure that they're okay before you just let go. Okay, um, so anyway, it's comfortable here that you can wear this different ways with the hood without facing front or facing towards you. So you can do a whole bunch of different positions. Some baby carriers you can only do like um, front facing or you can only do um, rear facing where they're resting against you. This you can really do anything. It's versatile with all sized babies and toddlers. And um, again, within those weight limits, um, up to 29 pounds is what this is recommended for. Okay, so 
Um, it's just adjustable for all those things. You've got separate padding that you can remove. You've got the hood for the smaller babies. They can face all different ways. You can position this on yourself anyway and just adjust those straps. So it's comfortable. Um, the straps are easy to adjust. So I can just slide this in here to release it and pull tightly. So that's always nice. I hate when the straps are difficult to adjust because when you're changing between parents you know, my husband would loosen these straps significantly more because he's a much bigger person than I am taller in stature and for me I've got to tighten things up a little bit because I'm a little bit more petite but it's so easy to do that um, it will release if you push on it and be able to tighten but definitely not one of those that's going to slip or anything so easy to adjust which is fantastic nice comfortable padding comfortable for you and for the baby and that has been your closer look at this baby carrier from Mixmart and the different ways that you can wear it and carry your child.